Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home? Tyler Cole singing the national anthem, a fantastic rendition. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brent Barron. And from the sideline, David Aldridge. Let's see the stat sheet here for Trey Murphy. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot tougher on D. Now, the opening lineup for the New Orleans Pelicans. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. And for Sacramento, Barnes is in the front court along with Murray. Fox is out there with Ellis. And it's Sabonis in at the center, filling out the middle. Hey, Greg, what are you looking for here as they enter their first night of a back-to-back? You'll see how the coaching staff distributes minutes among the players. But you don't want to overuse your guys tonight and leave them sluggish for tomorrow. It's about finding a balance. And it's the Kings to start out. Fox passes to Ellis. Sacramento moving it around. Fox dishes to Murray. Fox with the screen for Murray. Off target from three-point range. On offense here are the Pelicans, fresh from a win against Portland. You know, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, watching that game, quarter to quarter, Three. they sped up, they slowed down, but they executed in every facet. And so the New Orleans Pelicans get the first points of the ball game. Here's a bonus. Alan Junis grabs the board. And so it's McCullum. He'll bring it up for the Pelicans. It's a three-point game. They traveled to Sacramento last time they faced the Kings and came away with the win. Not a close contest either. The last time they got together, everyone in the rotation played solid in the bench. What's the difference? The second unit came in last game and just played lights-out basketball. I'm sure they'd like to do that again. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. New Orleans has come out of the gates quickly. McCollum with the ball. And now by Barnes. Over in the corner, Williamson. Tries it from nine. Rebound by the Kings. And so just over a minute and a half played. Pass to Murray. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Murray. And if Murray can keep his passing up, he'll be a force in this league. Now the pass to Valanciunas. Kicks it to McCollum. Back to Valanciunas. But Trey. That shot off. The Kings have gone just one of four to get this game started. Ellis against Jones. Ellis, the pass to Sabonis. Rebounded by Alan Junis. And so far, the team just one of five in that rim shrinking. Williamson is screen on Fox. Baseline try. McCollum, no good. The Kings trail by three. This 
Pelican front office has done a great job, Brent, finding some diamonds in the rough, players that have now helped. Think about it, Kevin. They grabbed Jose Alvarado and Najee Marshall, both undrafted players. And those guys are key rotation pieces to change the tempo of any game. Herb Jones, a great steal in the second round, defensively comes in, creates havoc. I mean, a lot of really impressive finds for this front office. McCollum outside. Valanciunas sets a screen for McCollum, passes it to Valanciunas. Well, Valanciunas with brute force on that play. When you get inside like that, you got to hit the guy. This is his first trip to the line tonight. At the line for the Pelicans. Jonas Valanciunas, two shots. And he knocks down the first one. There are ways to get a guy like Jonas Valanciunas to be aggressive in the game. You got to feed the big man, so get him the ball earlier and get it to him often. Junis hits them both. And here are the Kings now, trailing by two. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Becoming more confident and a little bit more poised in terms of how he scores is De'Aaron Fox. I'll call him outside. Inside, Valanciunas, and it's Valanciunas finishing it off. That's the kind of pass you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. Back to Ellis. Murray outside. Launches a three. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. McCollum kicks to Williamson. Screen by Jones. Back to McCollum. Five on the clock. Shoots over Fox. McCollum no good. And Zoellis will bring it up for Sacramento. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Yeah, and Kevin, they got punished in that third quarter. They just came out without any fight uh, after halftime, and, and you can't do that. Now, here's Sabonis. Really struggled in the loss against Oklahoma City. Beyond the arc. Doesn't go that time. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Williamson with a screen for McCollum over Barnes. And the basket by McCollum. McCollum's got five now. I feel like when CJ gets a couple of these to go, it accentuates his ability and confidence to score from the outside as well. Now, here's Fox. 33 points last game. To the paint. Kicks it out to Ellis. Barnes looking around. Three-pointer, Fox. Drills it from outside. Fox has got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Sacramento. Now, Williamson. He's coming off a 22-point game against Portland. Pass to Valanciunas. McCollum dishes to Williamson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Williamson. Williamson's got his second bucket of the night. And Zion just so dangerous at scoring through contact, showing off just how strong he is. McCollum against Fox. He dishes it to Murray. Fox passes to Murray. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. 
New Orleans leading by three. A second round pick in 2021, Brent Herb Jones immediately made an impact on the defensive end. Yeah, you wonder if being on the all defensive team or at least getting votes as a rookie has changed Herb Jones' mentality about wanting to get Defensive Player of the Year. I know that sounds silly, but he's got the capability and versatility to be that much of an impact on the defensive end. Sacramento with the ball. Following the score by New Orleans, Fox finds a bonus. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Sabonis has got his second bucket of the game to go. Sabonis just rolling right into that perfect pocket position off the pick and roll. McCollum against Fox. Now here's McCollum. He's tightly guarded. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on De'Aaron Fox. And guys, let's get your tip on the scoring breakdown so far for the Pelicans. And they've set the tone from the jump. They're looking to pound it inside and score in the paint. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. The throw good to McCollum. And just so good off the bounce. C.J. McCollum is as frustrating to cover as anyone. Yeah, but it's also, Greg, one of the players in the league that we appreciate the most. Because of the footwork, because of the fundamentals, maybe a little bit undersized, he finds ways to get it done with efficiency and effectiveness. And so McCollum nails both of them. Now, C.J. McCollum really one of the more unique scorers in the league. And it has a lot to do with the peanut butter smoothness he has handling the ball, being on great balance, and being one step ahead of the defense. Now, here's Lyons. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Ellis with the screen for Fox. Three-pointer. A three-pointer is right on target. Fox has got 11 points. Well, Fox trying to work on that outside jump shot, become more consistent. Nice bucket there. McCollum against Fox from outside the arc. And the Pelicans miss again. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. No good. That would have tied it. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Shoots from the corner. Offensive rebound. Marshall drops in the layup for two. Z Marshall. And the Pelicans lead by four. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Barnes kicks to Fox. Here's Ellis. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. First personal foul. The Kings shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. And in terms of team numbers, uh, the free throw percentage is right at 74. Throw good, Ellis. So for the Pelicans, Harry Nance has checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Hawkins comes in for Trey Murphy. And it's Jose Alvarado in for Herbert Jones. Both free throws good from Ellis. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the Pelicans. Pass to Hawkins. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Marshall passes to McCollum. Six on the shot clock. That one goes. He's counting. McCollum's got nine points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Outside, Fox. Miles sets a screen for Fox. 
A three-pointer off the mark. Pelicans leading by four. Marshall passes to Hawkins. Ripped away. Here's Vazenko. Oh, tried to dunk it home, but drew the foul. And it'll go to the line. First personal foul. You know what? Nice Second job there on the attack at the rim. Shooting drawing the contact. Sacramento. For Sacramento, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. The first one falls. Davion Mitchell's checked in for Sacramento. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Pelicans leading by three. Hawkins passes to Marshall, takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. McCollum against Mitchell. Driving in, and the shot goes in. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Alvarado with it. Guarded by Fox. Cullen passes to Nance. Here's Alvarado. Pocket six. Nance is screen on Fox. McCullum finds Nance. A key with the clock. And there's the shot clock violation. Didn't get the shot off in time. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And some changes here for the Kings. Zabonis comes in for McGee. And Chris Duarte is subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. And the Pelicans making a change here as well. Williamson is checked in for McCullough. Here's Duarte. The dish to Mitchell. 121 left to play in the first quarter. Sabonis sets the pick for Mitchell. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Nance. And here we go. Fast break. Williamson's got it. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. And Nance is so athletic and so springy and bouncy out there on the floor, he can draw a lot of contact like that. Pelican shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. throw good from Nance. Well, we know that Larry Nance Jr. is an athlete. Now it's crucial for him to show that consistently he can knock down a shot, maybe even extending to the three-point line. Second free throw, no good. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. There are many noteworthy second-generation stars in the NBA right now, like DeMontis Sabonis. Unbelievable. Had a chance to play against his dad. He was a, a force to be reckoned with at the center position. But DeMontis has exceeded him in some ways, like multiple all-star selections. Well, Sabonis can play there on the block. That's where he did a lot of damage in college. So him working inside, that's a good sign. Hawkins shot good. Hawkins. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. 43 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Mitchell right side. Here's Duarte. He's covered by Hawkins. The shot no good by Duarte. And when he, he's this close, he's got to make it. The defense was pretty good, but just shouldn't miss that. Nance with no one around. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. 
Williamson's got three assists in the game. And here's Sabonis. He has six. Mitchell outside. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Mitchell's got five. C.J. McCollum the driving force for the New Orleans Pelicans. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with them. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from New Orleans? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. Pelicans leading by five. Setting the four now for the Pelicans. Hawkins is out there with Jose Alvarado. Then it's Zion Williamson. Then there's Larry Nance. And it's Marshall. In at the three, the small forward. Mitchell outside. The pass to Sabonis. Over Nance. And Sabonis the bucket on the assist by Mitchell. Eight points for him. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. There's Williamson with the three. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Three points. And a knee with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Pelicans have a lot of weapons offensively, but there seem to be enough touches to go around. Coach Willie Green said there's a trust factor. All those guys, they go out and trust each other. It might be one guy's night in this game, and it might be someone else in the next game. They always just want to make the right play. Kevin? Yep. Thanks, DA. Good stuff. Passes to Hawkins. And here is Marshall. Pass to Williamson. Shoots it up. And it's New Orleans scoring again. Nice to see Zion using his outside game. His jumper's a good weapon for him. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Pass to Sabonis. Over to the wing. Five to shoot. Sabonis' screen on Hawkins. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here is Hawkins. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. No issues on that one. Good work all around. Mitchell outside. And the pass to Sabonis over Nance. And the shot is good. The Pelican lead has been cut back down to five as they get the points there from Sabonis. And one of the unwritten rules of team play, Brent, don't throw your teammate a grenade. What are those? Well, I got a lot of those in my years in Seattle, and I won't mention his name, but the initials were Gary Payton. Look, the shot clock's winding down. You're standing open, and the guard just gives it to you with 1.5 seconds to go, and you got to shoot the ball. So those are called live grenades, Kevin. And here are the Kings now, and the Pelicans pick up three with their last shot. Uh, running like a well-oiled machine at Sabonis at the helm. Here's Alvarado. Covered by Mitchell. Here's Williamson. And he elevates for the slam. Tavonis Sabonis did not like that at all. Yeah, so fun to watch him get fancy on any finish. Zion again to the rack. 
And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now, here's Mitchell. He's defended by Alvarado. King's moving the ball around. There's a bonus. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. And really just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. Here's Marshall. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Williamson. Tarte grabs the ball. The Kings trail by six to the middle. That one's good for Zenkov. Pozenkov's got five points in the quarter. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Now, here's Marshall. Back to Williamson. Another miss by Williamson. Sacramento's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Pass to Pozenkov with it from past the arc knocks down the three ball and now just a one point New Orleans lead that's pretty much not how they want to defend the three point line somebody's got to shadow him out there here's Williamson and they cash in right away with a quick shot Williamson's got 13 points sweet to be a difference maker in the game and he's been a great option for them on these possessions it's a bonus that misses off the backboard. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. From 10 feet out, Marshall can't hit. The Kings trail by three. Mitchell outside. Pass to Sabonis. Here's Torte. That falls. Nice speed that time from Sabonis. Sabonis has got his third assist on the night. Nance outside. No one near Williamson as he lets it go. Tried to come right back with a three of his own. It's no good. Pass to Sabonis. Into the lane. What increases Sabonis' perceived quickness is that ability to change pace. For Sacramento, they have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And Sabonis is such a key to this team and what they do on the inside. A big man that does a little bit of everything. And the Pelicans making a change here. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Nance. Trey Murphy comes in for Najee Marshall. Jones checked in for Hawkins. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Jose Alvarado. And Sabonis drops them both. New Orleans has gone 2-3 when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. McCollum against Fox. Williamson in the post for Murray. And that one's good, Williamson. Williamson's got the game tied up here for the Pelicans. Shots are just flowing. Him right now having a really strong quarter. outside. Sabonis' screen on Jones. Let's find Sabonis. Now let's take a moment to show you the NBA's best rebounding teams over the last 10 games. Number one, the Kings. What a show of strength in terms of rebounding. I mean, they've really controlled the glass here of late, playing with some extreme physicality.
no good on that one. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. And so it's Williamson with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. Ellis against Jones. Ellen Junis sets a screen for McCollum. Over Fox. And the call on the shot and sends in to the line. It's going to go on Sabonis. Never shy about getting physical. Valanchunas still gets the shot in the air. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shot in the game right here. And he's putting together a solid year at the free throw line. 79% overall. And he makes the first. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The Kings trailing. Outside, Fox. Sabonis at the elbow. And he gets the bucket. 18 points for Sabonis. Seemed to be laying in the weeds there in the first quarter, but now we're seeing him come out, put all the cards on the table, and ramp it up. Now here's McCollum. A 29-point game for him in the win against Ports. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Sacramento making a switch here. McGee's checked in. Fox against McCollum. Fox dishes to McGee. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got three assists in the game. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Now here's McCullough. He's got nine. Right wing. Here's Williamson. Drilled from 11 feet out. Williamson. Williamson's got 13 points in just this quarter. The Kings. Well, there's no eye in team, but there is an eye in Zion. And I see him getting it done. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Attention fans. Some of the assist numbers under the microscope for Demonis Sabonis. And the improvement he's shown as a passer is really noticeable. He's developed a much better understanding of how to spread the basketball around and how to keep the offense clicking. And he's a much better player because of it. The Kings leading. Oh, here's Fox. He's got 11. Barnes outside. McGee sets the pick for Barnes. He feeds it to McGee. From the low block, basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Barnes has got three assists in the game. McCollum against Fox. the pass to Williamson and stolen by Murray Barnes down low
Fox deciding where to go with it. And here's Ellis from beyond the arc. And the three ball is good. And it's a six-point Sacramento lead. Boy, have they gotten hot here in the second quarter. No wonder they're in front. Fox against McCollum. In the corner, it's Valanciunas. New Orleans moving the ball around. Down to five on the shot clock. Ball's knocked loose and taken away by Ellis. Fox against McCollum. Murray sets a screen for Fox over Valanciunas. Fox, no good. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Now here's Valanciunas. 11 points for him in that last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. And don't forget about the work he did on the board. His rebounding was a huge help in that game. And again, no good by New Orleans. Sacramento leading by six. He lobs it up. Great communication on the alley. Well, the more Fox does that, the more he's going to be looked at like a leader. And that is called first of the game for the Pelican. He doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit chat with the team to settle down. Marshall is checked in for Zion Williamson. Here we are, two games left before the start of the playoffs. Let's take a look at the possible field. Look at New Orleans. They're trying to get in the playoffs here. If they stay the course, they will. And, of course, there's the Kings, just a couple spots back. And I think for Sacramento, when you think back on how well they finished the regular season last year, it's hard to believe they're just an average team at this point. Last year looked effortless for this squad, not so much this year. They're having to grind out some wins that last year they were the breeze through. Now here's Jones. Nothing on the board. Shot clock at six. They need this. Rebound by Murray. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jumps. McCollum against Fox. Murray is screened on McCollum. It's Fox with the drive. Just uh, play control. Uh, we have the Aaron Fox cleared for takeoff. Pelicans trail by 10. Pass to Marshall. He kicks to McCollum for the three. Drills the three-pointer. CJ McCollum. McCollum's got 12. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. That is all timing right there. Just led him perfectly. New Orleans has gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. And here's McCullum for three. They get it back. Kings leading now by nine. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Fox against McCullum. Now, here's Fox. Tight defense on him. McGee sets the pick for Fox. Another three for Sacramento. Fox pretty good when he decides to use his speed. He's going to get the defense on their heel. Oh, and he oh, beat it. Did they just do that, Kevin? They just did that. Your Kings. Wow, what a way to finish up the quarter. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly, take a chance, and somehow that one goes in. And so it's Sacramento in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And a chance now to send it up by courtside. David. Thanks very much, DeMontis. This team was efficient in the first half. What's working offensively? Everyone knew today was going to be a game. We all came out focused and we're playing team basketball. We're sharing the ball and that's working for us. And we got a lot of weapons there, DeMontis. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started.
Evening, folks. This first half is like a highlight reel for De'Aaron Fox. Now, Shaq, we all know that you were a most frequent scorer. So, uh, was he dialed up to your frequency? He's close, within a few megahertz. Wow. This conversation is making my head mega hurt. See what I did there? Well, let's talk about the first half. And the speed demon, De'Aaron Fox, has come out of the gate strong. Well, I think the bucket looks real big to him right now. He's uh, been almost automatic. And you look at the people trying to defend him, they look discouraged. Very discouraged. His shooting percentage is definitely on the shack like level right now. All right, you're being nice to me. What do you want? Uh, a ride home on the plane. Deal. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. You know, Demonis Sabonis has been exceptional here, guys. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And so McComb will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Ellis is out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's Barnes at the three. That's the group for Mike Brown as we get going here in the second half. The drive by Williamson. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. And can you imagine the coach saying, hey, get in front of Zion. No thanks. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success. He's been terrific. I mean, bringing that championship pedigree from Golden State. Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland. And one of the best people in the league as well. Here's McCullough. It's hauled in by the Kings. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Now let's the pass to Simonis. Dishes to Barnes. Sabonis' is screen on McCollum. Sabonis, no good. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Alan Jun is with the ball. He has seven. Here's McCollum. Good for basket number six for him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. Jonas Terrific feed from Valanchunas, a big man scanning the deck. McCollum against Fox. Scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. McCollum kicks to Valanchunas. Valanciunas sets a screen for Williamson. Yep, it counts. Zion Williamson's got four points this quarter. Okay, good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. McCollum against Fox. Sabonis' is screen on McCollum. Outside for Murray. That ball's nice feed that time from Sabonis. Murray's got himself on the board with three there. And really, since day one in the NBA, Murray's shown he has the ability to knock down the three. You can't give him space, especially in the corner. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. De'Aaron Fox is taking his game to new heights. Coach Mike Brown says the exciting part about Foxy is he's just starting to scratch the surface of who will end up being in this league. His skill and skill set are both off the charts. His speed is unbelievable, and his ability to get his own shots at his size is second to none. Kevin? David, I agree. He is special. He thanks for the report. Throw good, Fox. 
It's definitely a part of the game that Fox wants to work on. These haven't been easy for him in the past. That one misses. Pelicans trail by seven. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Passes it to Valanciunas. Kicks it out to McCollum. And another three for New Orleans. And he's just three. living out beyond the arc right now. What a weapon to have on the floor. Seems to be taking it on his shoulders aggressively to shrink this lead. They really needed those points. Here's a bonus. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Uh, Sabonis fights through and around. Defense gets the end one opportunity. That was not as easy as it looked. So far in the game, he's gone two for four from the free throw line. And guys, you might remember that he was not at his best from the foul line in their last outing. One shot. Quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. McCollum outside. They double team McCollum. Shot clock at five. Alan Junis with a screen on Ellis. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. And the dunk by Alan Junis. Assisted. Great pass there from Herbert Jones. Jones. When someone's open, he'll find him. Kings leading now by five. Fox passes to Sabonis. Good and a nice assist from Fox. 23 points for Sabonis. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. Williamson with it. Sabonis defending. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Third person. It's hard not to be overzealous when you're defending Zion. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so for the Kings. I think they put an emphasis on attacking the basket. And watching this, you can see why. They have just carved the defense up here with relative ease. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. The first free throw is good. And we talk a lot about guys and the obstacles that they overcome. Williamson has faced many setbacks, but still staying committed to the game. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Now Sabonis, 23 points in the game. Kicks it to Fox. Over in the corner, Ellis. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Pass to Jones. Drives to the hoop. That one falls. Now you can't be reckless in how you guard Jones because he's so skilled at getting to the free throw line. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And with his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. You scan around the league to look at young guys who might be pillars of teams moving forward. You know, Herb Jones could be one of those guys. Outside, Fox. Outside for Murray. Oh, good with the triple. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. To the wing right side. Here's Williamson. And he drives in. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Going on the attack Team right there, Zion wins. won't be stopped Zion by even the toughest defense. This is his second trip to the line in this one. 
In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. He misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Here's Ellis. He's got five. The pass to Sabonis. He dishes it to Fox. Count! And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. It goes on C.J. McCollum. Finding more and more ways as De'Aaron Fox to score the basketball. That time gets contact. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. Miles check in for Barnes. And the Pelicans also making a change. Marshall's checked in. De'Aaron Fox. One shot. Free throw good. Fox. And so McCollum will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Outside, Jones. Williamson against Lyons. And it's Williamson missing. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. And Fox gets it to go. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Cullen passes it to Williamson. And the ball out of play. The Kings will inbound. Talk about guys, Brent, who can fill those gaps out on the floor. How about Trey Lyles? Trey just getting more and more comfortable at carving out that reliable role player. Not only is this guy smart, he's also fearless. He'll throw himself into the game. Lyles, it's a screen for Fox. And that basket to his impressive total brings him to 10 for 14. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Williamson looking it over. Pass to Dallin Junis. The dish to Marshall. Driving inside. Clock is at three. Jones, that's for two. Good on the jump shot. Jones. Jones has got five points in the quarter. Kings leading now by six. Fox kicks to Sabonis. Passes to Ellis. Sabonis against Valanciunas. Here's Fox. Good work defensively by Jones. For New Orleans, they've gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. Valanciunas with a screen on Murray. A three from McCollum, and DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Murray. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. When it's Murray pounding the ball inside, things can happen. For Sacramento, they have had 12 attempts at the line, making eight so far. First free throw is good. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. And so he makes both from the line. Yeah, good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half, doing a great job at the line. McCollum kicks to Valanciunas. Williamson against Lyons. Valanciunas dishes to Marshall. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Here's McCollum. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. 
Kings leading now by eight. Lost to Fox. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. And there's the pass to Sabonis. Miles with a wide open look. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. Sabonis has got his sixth assist on the night. Pelicans trail by 11. Pass to McCollum. Over in the corner, Marshall. That one's good from the corner. Marshall's got his third basket of the night. I know CJ plays the two-guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great find. Lyles, it's a screen for Fox. Lyles, no good. New Orleans has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Floats it up for Williamson. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Well, I like it when he goes vertical, but I like it when he stays there. How about Zion getting up? Now a timeout time called by Sacramento. Time and as the coaches Art. go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. New Orleans making some changes here. Nancy's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas and Hawkins subbed in for Zion Williamson. against McCullough. Outside, Fox. Pass to Vizenko. Sacramento again missing. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the miss. Cullen passes to Marshall. McCollum against Fox. And here's Marshall from the arc. That's in. Coming off the assist from McCollum. Marshall's got five points in the quarter. Outside, Fox. The shot from the low post is good. And the Kings lead by eight. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Here's McCollum. And it's good for two. McCollum's got 22 points. Well, if he's going to do that, I don't know what you do to defend him. McCollum with the floater, so smooth. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And here's a look at some numbers for Marshall. Breaking down his play since the All-Star break. He's putting up six points a night, four rebounds, and two assists. And every team needs a good backup big to spell the starters. And, and that's what he brings to the table. The role consists of rebounding, setting screens, protecting the rim. Anything else he gives you is found change in the couch. Free throw good, Ellis. And one difference this have is that when they get to the line, they're converting. Jose Alvarado, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And Ellis drops them both. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings Two it up for New Orleans. Two minutes. Passes it to Marshall. 153 left in the third quarter. Hawkins. It's hauled in by Lyle. Lyle's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. McCollum against Ellis. Pass to Fox. Over to the left wing. Six on the shot clock. Fox is double. Kings moving the ball around. And 
with Vazenkov missing. Pelicans trail by eight. And here is Marshall. Nine points in the game so far. Hands a screen on Fox. Hawkins kicks to Marshall. Kicks it out to McCollum. From outside, off the mark. Sacramento leading by eight. Alvarado with the steal. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. Here's Nance. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. First personal foul. Larry Nance Jr. moves well out there, but he's also strong, so he muscles in, gets pushed, takes the hit. The Pelicans have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. The Kings making a switch here. Mitchell's checked in. Forty-seven seconds left here in the third quarter. Back to Fox. He kicks it to McGee. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Throws down the alley-oop slam. A whole phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Nance outside. Now the pass to Hawkins. Traps in the train. Hawkins has got 11. Well, Nance is just such a cerebral player out there. Does a good job of trying to be a threat with the assist. Outside, Fox. Just five to shoot. Lyle sets a screen for Fox. The Kings need to get off a shot here. Shot's good by Lyle. Lyle's got his third basket of the night right there. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are worth it. Well, both of them three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. A big-time effort for De'Aaron Fox, providing a lot of energy for the King. A grand total of 28 points for him in the game now. They have no answer for him defensively. We've got more in store for you right after this. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Setting the floor now for the Pelicans. Zion Williamson is out there with Cody Zeller. Then it's Jose Alvarado. Then there's Hawkins. And it's Marshall in at the three spot. Now, here's Mitchell. He's defended by Alvarado. The shot. And again, it's Sacramento converted. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Loads it up for Williamson. No good. Shot missing. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players reacting. Just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Sabonis feeling it out a bit. Pass to Duarte. Fires the three. Alvarado grabs the board. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Kicks it out to Williamson. To the inside. Here's Marshall. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. 
Williamson's got five assists in the game. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Outside, Sabonis. Lyles passes to Mitchell. Here's Duarte, launches it, and he's good on the three ball. And the Kings lead by 10. He's just stretching them out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. you got to know where he is at all times. You can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Mitchell outside. Inside. Pass to Vizenko. Another three for Sacramento. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Zeller. And the dunk by Zeller. Assist from and, and didn't do anything Zeller. fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right I'm now out, is out. getting the, the points on the board. I, I don't mean style points. Pardon? Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Ellis comes in for Duarte. Herbert Jones, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, thanks, guys. I was able to hear Mike Brown during the break. Told them, pedal to the metal. Adding, we're ahead out here, but it's not over yet. Start celebrating in your head when there's work to be done on the floor. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And so it's Williamson with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans to the paint. Marshall dishes to Williamson. Count it. Zion Williamson's Williamson. got 30 points. And, and you know what? He's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. Passes it to Sabonis. Mitchell outside. At the line for your Kings. Davion Mitchell. Two shots. And that one misses. And he sinks the second. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Pass to Marshall. Fires for three. And another three for New Orleans. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. Ellis against Hawkins. Ellis the pass to Mitchell. Pass to Lyons. Sacramento again missing. Pelicans trail by four. Stolen. Feeds it to Ellis. And Jones sends it back. You got to be careful when Jones is anywhere in your vicinity. He uses that length to get the block, does Jones. Kings leading now by four. Mitchell kicks to Ellis. Back to Mitchell. A three ball. That one's good for Zenko. This is what he does. Find space on the perimeter and then sink the three. Here's Williamson. Oh, wow. Williamson. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're big or small. You do not want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Zion on the inside. And that's life above the rim. 
courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Sacramento's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Miles kicks to Sabonis. Another shot. He lays it in. Sabonis has got 25 points in the game. Yeah, Sabonis just cleaning the board, taking care of business. That's just too easy if you're the defense. Here's Williamson. Lays it up off the glass. Williamson. Playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. Here's Mitchell. And slam dunk by Sabonis. And Sabonis getting his entire body up that time for the jam. Pelicans trail by seven. Pass to Alvarado. Oh, and the jam by Marshall. They just hard to get this lead. They can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Yeah, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. Mitchell right side. Basket counts. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Miles, it's a screen for Mitchell. And shot opportunity and Sabonis lays it up and in. He has 29. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. For New Orleans. And so it's Williamson who brings up the ball for New Orleans. Passes it to Valanciunas. Dishes to McCollum. Six to shoot. Williamson in the post. Hurry on him. Out that one. And the Kings lead has been cut down now to just five on the bucket from Williamson. McCollum against Fox. Screen by Sabonis. Fox passes to Sabonis. Back to Fox. Kicks it to Barnes. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. And the Kings lead by seven. Using every bit of muscle he's got on that one. What can I say? Harrison Barnes likes to get in and attack. Here's McCollum, and it's New Orleans See, scoring again. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Outside, Sabonis. He dishes it to Fox. Puts it up from 12. Alan Junis grabs the board. Alan Junis has got 11 rebounds in the game. McCollum kicks to Williamson. Play in the low block, and that one's good. Now it's just a three point Kings lead. And he is one cool customer, guys, isn't he? Every possession magnified down the stretch, but he's been ready with only one miss against his six mates. Here's Fox on the money from 12 feet away. Fox 
Fox has got 30 points. De'Aaron Fox stepping up big time. To the middle. Here's Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And that's a double-double for him now. 11 points and 11 rebounds. Sabonis a screen on McCollum. Fox passes to Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. And that's the reason why Sabonis gets the rock. He's just upping the air. Pelicans trail by five. Here's McCollum. Outside, Jones. Williamson in the post. He's covered by Murray. Sacramento's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Ellis finds Fox. Back to Ellis. Fires from deep. Barnes. The putback is no good. New Orleans has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. A testament to the savvy of McCollum. The defender bites on his subtle move. Then is left with no choice but the foul. At the line for the Pelicans, C.J. McCollum, two shots. Good, McCollum. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Listen, they're still right in this thing. Missing that free throw, though, keeps this a two-possession deficit. Barnes kicks to Fox. From 13, Pelicans with the rebound. 149 left in the fourth. Williamson double team. This one for three. Cans it from downtown. Yeah, you can't leave Murphy points. open from deep. He doubled his three-point attempts from year one to year two. That's confidence. McCollum against Fox. Murray is screen on McCollum. Let's it go from 11. And shot. No good. The Pelicans trail. We've got 123 left in the game. Kicks it out to Jones to take the lead. The offensive rebound. Let's it go from deep. Sabonis grabs the ball. And it's Sabonis with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Fox finds Murray. Now Ellis. Now here's Sabonis. He's guarded by McCollum. The wide open look here for Fox. Knocks down the three. Man, I'll tell you what. The pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're down by four. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. McCollum against Fox. McCollum. He's guarded closely. Jones. No one around him. Good. And that shot brings them to within just one. Oh, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up enough. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. Yeah, it's almost like he's got a magnet on that ball here tonight. He's in the right spot all the time. Becoming a superstar for Zion, you have to sink free throws when it matters most. The line for the Pelicans. Zion Williamson taking two shots.
He sinks the clutch free throw. And this team is riding on the very broad shoulders of one Zion Williamson. Crucial free throws here. Shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front, but at least they're tied up. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. It's tied at 129. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Make some noise for your Sacramento Kings seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside, Fox. Sabonis is screen on McCollum. Here's Fox. It's in! Aaron. Fox stepping up in the clutch here. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. One second left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And with under two seconds remaining, they need something quick. Don't have time for an extra pass here, but they want to try for a three off the inbound play and go for the win. Definitely do it. And here's McCollum for three. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. So it's the Kings taking the W in a close one. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win and, and really it's like a knife in the gut to lose. You, you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And that'll do it, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Domanis Sabonis.